There we go. All right, oversized spinner did it. He is way out there over deep water. Sometimes that's what it takes. Decent fish. It's amazing is how small the fish will hit these really big spinners. Beautiful fish. Stunning. A really pretty blue back. There we go. First fish in the net today. That's awesome. Spinner's already off since it's barbless. Really beautiful hen there. The hot and cutthroat. Oh, look how pretty they are. They are really gorgeous fish. Stunning. Look at that blue back on her. A little bit of blush. Got a beautiful fish going. See you later there. Look at that water. Man, that is so pretty. Great landscape. All right, so that was the first fish of the day. I had to cycle through some smaller gear, and I decided just to go bigger, and I'm using these basically steelhead spinners, and I have a video on how to make these from lure parts online. And uh, sometimes that big, slow blade thumping is just what it takes to get these uh, larger trout excited. Of course, these Lahontans, you know, I've caught them, and they've puked up fish that are like a third their size so you know something that size is easily within their normal realm of uh prey base and of course there's a lot of benefits to throwing oversized gear especially spinners is that you can get the blades to turn at a really slow speed you can also cast them a long distance so you can cover more water which is nice all of those will eventually translate to more fish for you in the long run. There we go. There's a hit. I cast after I used that big spinner, switched it back out. That is the lure they want today. Big spinner. Winner, winner. Oh, yeah, it's a nice fish. That is a toad. That is a freaking toad. Wait, he's all wrapped up. Okay. If I can get this guy out of the deep. Oh, he's wrapped in it. I don't think I'll lose him. He's so wrapped in it. Woo! There he goes. Nice fish. One of the biggest ones I've caught from shore here. Usually gotta go out in the boat to get these guys, these big, but big lure, big fish. Wow, that is a tank. That is a tank. You all unwrap now. Okay. Oh near. Oh, I missed. Him. Oh my god, what a beast. What an absolute beast that is. Awesome. Look at the size of that guy, he's huge. Nicked him in the tongue, so he's got a little bit of blood coming out, but I think it'll clot up soon. Really nice fish. And of course, when I'm fishing these, you know, I'll often do like a fan casting, so I'll, you know, sit in one spot and work from left to right or right to left. We also need to think about water column depth, so sometimes I'll just let it sink for just a second or two and then retrieve, and then other times I'm gonna let it sink, you know, for many seconds or even all the way to the bottom and work each of those different depths as well. That's really critical, especially in these transition seasons where the fish can be, you know, anywhere from 60 to the surface. You just don't know. You will need to work that water column over. There's a fish right there, just followed it. If I can get him to come back.
There he is, got him. <laughs> I saw him follow it, cast back, back out, got him. That's awesome. They are so aggressive. That was sweet. I just saw a shadow right behind it, and it turned right there. I was like, I'll just cast right back out. And boom, he turned around and came right back for it. Pretty little hen. That's cool. Awesome. I just love that. If I didn't have a camera, people would never believe. So, oh, there he goes. There she goes. Cool. Pretty hen. That's awesome. Well, there's one right to the bank. <laughs> nice. Followed her right to the bank. Woo! Yeah. That was sweet. I thought I'd hit a rock just getting close to the bank and then started head thumping. Bite's starting to pick up. Really nice fish. Work it back towards me. Hard to net fish by yourself at the seven and a half foot rod. But I don't like to pull them up on the bank since I'm catching release of these beauties. Oh, that is such a cool fish. I love this fishery. Man, this is a lot easier with two people. Wow, she is studying. Look at that fish. That is gorgeous. Ooh what a stunner. Beautiful hen. Should come right out. See you later, sweetie. Oh shit. That's a good fish. Come on, come on, come on. I just saw a fish swimming along the bank there. So I cast down the bank, see if I can get his attention. Oh, oh it didn't, didn't work. He's following it, he's following it. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> yes, that was so cool. I just saw a shadow swimming along the bank there. I saw him go by me, so I cast down the bank like 20 yards. Boom, got this monster fish. <laughs> oh no, he's off, oh that sucks. Oh gosh, that was so cool. What a neat experience that was. Oh, that's a big hit. That's a big hit. Monster hit. Just slammed it. Oh, it's a nice fish. Big colored up buck. Oh man, he's so pretty. Look at that fish. He's just glowing red on the side. Get this one in the net. Oh dude, what a gorgeous fish. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What? That is so pretty. Trout don't come much prettier than that. That is a very, very pretty fish. See you later, big beautiful blushing buck. Boom. That was awesome. Definitely switching up to this big spinner made all the difference today in terms of my catch rate. And, uh, you know, it just goes to show, sometimes you gotta, you gotta upgrade your size to get the fish to bite. I'll put links on how to make these spinners. They're really easy to make at home, even with just a pair of simple pliers. And, uh, it's very cheap, too. So, it's one of my first videos I ever made, actually. Alright, guys, I'll see you next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye.